A new study says millennials are ditching the kitchen and opting <laughs> for takeout instead. Jerry Willis is here with all the details. Hey, Jerry. Hey, Dagan. Good to see you. Well, could home cooking become a thing of the past? That's what UBS analysts are saying as food apps proliferate and delivery costs sink due to robots and delivery drones. In fact, a new report called Is the Kitchen Dead? forecasts that ordering in may soon be cheaper than preparing food at home. Hmm. The thinking goes like this. According to UBS, by 2030, online food delivery could command 10% of the total food services market. That's $365 billion in market share from $35 billion today. Analysts say apps like Uber Eats are inspiring millennials to order in three times more often than their parents. And, you know, it's not just convenience spurring sales. It's also an improvement in the quality of food offered. Millennial faves like Panera and Taco Bell are making pushes into delivery Chipotle reporting delivery sales skyrocketed 667% this spring. Now, all of this is happening as packaged food makers like General Mills and Conagra struggled to renew their offerings. General Mills banking on updates to its YoPlay business and a move into pet foods to bolster earnings, it reports this week, while Conagra has revamped brands like Healthy Choice and get this, Banquet. Remember those folks, the TV dinner folks? They're, they've reinvented that. Hmm, who knew? GM and Conagra are both down. GM down, uh, General Mills down 19% for the year. Conagra is actually up, pardon me, up 4% for the year. So Conagra winning that. But I got to tell you, I'm not buying this idea that home cooking is going away because I do it all the time. I agree. Uh, I think it's, uh, I mean, don't get me wrong, I think we're, I, I'm, I'm a millennial, I order in a little bit more because there are better options, but nothing beats a good home-cooked meal, and I can still throw down. Yeah, and I just want to add to <laughs> The reason why we're seeing a difference between millennials and other generations, one, home economics courses that teach cooking, a lot of it has been cut from American schools, two, Amen. You, have, you also have families that are, start when uh, older generations, they started their families old, uh, at a younger age, so they had to start cooking for more people. That's not the case. You have millennials that are working uh, sometimes, you know, double jobs with the um, the mm -hmm. sharing economy and all that. So I feel like often we're hating on millennials. Sooner it'll be the Gen Z. It's, it's like this. It just happens. It's a cycle. Millennials the hated on generation. They're but it's going to be the, generation. Be another generation. we're the largest generation right now. No, we don't hate on the generation. We hate those who We don't who hate. Are... We just blame you. Yeah. <laughs> America, you heard it here first. They're blaming us now. I, I <laughs> think everybody will home cook. I'm a big fan of home cooking. I brought yes. in dinner for four for 50 bucks. Yeah, Jerry. Thank you, Jerry.